It was a late night for Albuquerque City Councilors. There were a couple of hot button items on the agenda, including changes to the city's zoning laws. Now, dozens of people signed up to speak about this proposal. Here's what it would do. It would allow for more limited developments in neighborhoods zoned for single family homes. Now, city leaders want to allow multifamily units like duplexes and make it easier for homeowners to build casitas or guest homes if there's room for one. Now, this has been a sticking point for people for months since the proposal was first talked about. Housing Forward has nothing to do with securing affordable housing nor in helping homeless populations. It gives away great opportunity to developers and pits neighbor against neighbor. I believe in the long run, if this plan passed, will create more chaos within the city and communities, especially within the neighborhood. So the third aspect of this proposal is to simplify plans to convert hotels into affordable housing, which the city is already doing in Northeast Albuquerque. The proposal would also loosen requirements for stoves and ovens in each unit. The last aspect would change the parking requirements for multifamily and affordable housing developments. Well, city councilors voted to move the proposal to the next council meeting. Also on the agenda last night, a new proposal to limit the Albuquerque mayor's power and change the local government's format. In a nutshell, the proposal moves the Duke City from a council mayor system to a council manager system. Councilors would still represent districts and a mayor would represent the city at large and they would all have equal voice. And multiple speakers at the meeting spoke in support of the idea. The statistics don't lie and shouldn't be ignored. Politicians want accountability of others when they themselves have none. Let voters decide if they want a mayor controlling all the decisions or to hire a city manager backed by bipartisan city council members. So councilors agreed to two amendments and push a vote on it to the June 21st meeting. If it passes then, it will be up to voters to make the final decision during this year's local elections.